So Dr. Nancy, why do you feel so excited about this activated liquid collagen and NERF2? I was thinking too, as we were um, going through this, you know, knowing that we have 10 different types of peptides, right? That it's, you know, you could go through some of that. Tell us why you're excited, but maybe why is this such a big deal combined with that NERF2? What this all comes down to has been what I've been about since I since I graduated from pharmacy school, and and I, I always forget to mention um, my molecular biochemistry is my major passion. Everything in my life has been about balancing the chemistry. How much have we heard tonight about balance? This is the part that's very difficult for people to understand when we start talking chemistry and they, they start glazing over. And for me, when I saw the study, I think what just really did it for me uh, was the perspective of I know what Dr. Seward talks about when he talks about what we do to ascertain the ingredients we have and to have the proper things put together exactly perfectly are one of the reasons that that when we have products we can have studies and know that we can expect the same results over and over in people like a pharmaceutical the reason pharmaceuticals took over for nutrients early in the 50s, 60s, and 70s was because they made it synthetically. They made a drug synthetically that you'd make the same over and over and over. Why that's so difficult is when you have plant parts that are grown in different areas of the world and different amounts of rain and different soils and all those different things, it is so important for the, the work that our company does to make sure that those raw ingredients contain and are part of everything that we put together. And then not only do we check it beforehand, but after. And that's the thing you don't see in so many of these companies that have ingredients. Half the time, many of the ingredients, because there's not a lot of regulation on this, aren't even what's inside the bottle. And so what I love about what we have and what we're doing is when you're talking about those 10 types of proteins of collagen, we know those are in there. And why we're seeing the results when we see these studies and what blows our minds is because we're able to see this over and over again in the studies, just like you would see in the pharmaceutical world. That was the world I came from, knowing that there had to be better answers. For me, it was about having a balanced chemistry from the cell out. I, got, I came to this company because I saw what was happening from the cell out with NRF2. And then to be able to, it, it just blows my mind that they can even take that to a different level with collagen and what we started seeing with the collagen. But what we're seeing with the synergy of those two things together is just really, truly, um, it, it, it's as, as I think it was um, Sveta that said it, or it, well, everybody's saying it. We know from the inside scientists what they're saying to us, that they were overwhelmed. They were blown away by what they saw. They were not expecting this. And uh, you know what? Their excitement led to our excitement in looking at it. But in the end, we can all talk about all this science and all this perfectness. In the end, it's what's happening? What's happening in people? And that's what I'm seeing over and over and over again, as all of us are. I saw it in myself. Those 10 collagens, one of the reasons it's such a big deal in our collagen itself is the fact that there are some collagens we can't take from the outside. We have to be able to put them inside and we have to have some activation that occurs so that we can make some more of them inside. And so to get some of these very particular types of collagen into us is important. So yes, our collagen does replenish some, but it's that component of activating our bodies to make it and then having the component, most importantly, where we're maintaining it, we're not breaking it down as fast. And I think that that's what we're seeing in terms of what's happening with the NRF2 as well. We're now having building blocks staying put. And as a result of that, we're seeing um, results that I didn't anticipate, I know many didn't anticipate in terms of, of where people are with, with their, their mental awareness, just focused more, all of those kinds of things that, you know what, just lead us to know that it's really doing some things impactfully inside. 
but I don't know, as a pharmacist and as a, a pharmacologist and someone that makes things, when you see an impact of a product that can take our bodies and help the magnificence of our bodies to activate and to be able to see that we have something that's so powerful for our immune system. Oh my gosh, all I have to do is look every single day at where we are in our medical system. Our immune systems have been destroyed and it's based on your genes, which ways those are going. But the best part is I always love to tell people, I don't care what it is. We're letting the body decide. We're letting the body activate. And it's through the wonderment of having proper um, supplies, putting the product together all the way through to the research that Christina is doing and, and Lisa Barnes and what they've put together to make it make sense so that when we are telling other scientists about this, we're seeing so many more nurses and doctors taking a look at this now because they know the impact of the immune system and anything out there that, that is going to help the body to maintain that immune system and keep it going in the right direction is got to be one of the most powerful things we'll see. So Nancy, tell everybody about your legs and your arms. Huh. <laughs> well, first, when we first received this, that's one of the benefits, if you will, being on the science board, is that we received the product ahead of time to try. And one of the things they asked us all to do was to take lots of pictures. And they said, not just your face, take pictures everywhere. Well, I don't know how many people had the issue during COVID of um, losing weight in a, a fast amount of time so that your muscles just everything just kind of fell apart all at once. I had COVID. I didn't have it severe, but I lost my appetite and really struggled. And as a result of it, the crepiness and what my legs looked like literally, I, I, they were like I was in my 80s or 90s. And it was embarrassing. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't take it. But I thought to myself, when we're taking pictures, if I take these pictures and it really matters and makes a difference, oh my goodness, because nothing looked worse to me than that. Okay. Oh my gosh. The results that happened in a three-week period of time were just shocking. And, and when people saw the pictures, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, yeah, I did not want those published. That wasn't what I really had in mind. But, you know, they've kind of gone worldwide now. <laughs> but you know what? That's so important. People need, what did we say? All the studies matter. All this matters. But in the end, what happens? And you know what? I, I can tell you that it, it's been something that's really happened to a lot of people now. I've seen lots of leg pictures. And the important part is we're talking about the scaffolding. You heard them talking about the inside structures. And guess what? We're getting all this scaffolding built back in. And, and it's picking up our cells again, taking out those wrinkles, taking out those crevices because the structuring is back. And you know what? Yes, we care what we look like. But imagine what's going on with our heart and imagine what's going on with blood vessels. And just think about if that's what my legs looked like on the outside, imagine what blood vessels can be looking like on the inside. 